a sneaky nurse pet tonight. Tonight we've got Sneaky Susa. And you're saying, what the bleeding hell is that? Well, I've been having a play with Susa Studio for a little while. And it's quite interesting, quite a bit of fun. And now Reconstructor wants lots of money, so it seems, to do a new Ubuntu based distro. I thought I'd give this a go. So I'm going to create a new appliance for you. As you can see, I've got a Mark 3 there. This is going to be a Mark 4. Now you get a few choices. You get a command line, you get a server, minimal, which is a basic. ISWM, GNOME KDE, and stuff like that. You can go for the Enterprise version or Enterprise en Enterprise Service Pack 3, but which will go to the basic 11.3. And I'm going to make it a GNOME desktop. Should we say? Yeah. 32 bit, because I'm running 32 bits here, so that'd be fine. Now you want to name it. You don't have to name it straight away, but I'm going to name it now, so I'm going to call it Mark 4. Good old British designation, Mark. Mark 4. Sir. Yes, sir. Last bit of fire, really. You know what I mean? So that's creating my appliance. And so basically, we just wait and wait a little bit. Remember, it is all online. You're doing it all online, unlike Reconstructor, which was online, but it didn't take this long. But you get a lot more options with SUSE Studio. So there we go. We're going to go straight to the, su the um, software tab. And there's all the stuff that I've already got on there. Look. Loads and loads and loads. And you get lots of options of stuff to install. So what I'm going to do, so first I'll go to Desktops. And as you can see, you've got lots of options you can have for your desktop. So I'm going to add multimedia, as you can see. Just click it there, it adds it. Office, I'm going to click it. Uh, image, I'm going to click it. This is just to show you how you can do it. I'm not going to actually make this one. I'm just going to show you how it uses. But I've got GNOME there. Now it gives you some options to add some stuff they recommend. So I'm going to add that. Look, so that's some GNOME-based stuff and stuff like that. There's other bits and bobs that will happen when I do this. So we go down. I want you to add some order. Yeah, looks okay to me. The ISO is not too big so far. It's only 320 megabytes. That's all right. So yeah, that's all right. So that's my basic GNOME stuff. And the download size is still only 320. So that's pretty cool. So we'll close that. Now, what else would I really need? Well, so if I go to the multimedia section, now get some stuff here also they recommend. So I'm going to add them stuff as well. Just to, yeah. Make it go nice and super duper. Some DVD stuff and stuff like that. Look. Audacity's there and some other stuff. And some stuff. I can't see. Oh, G-Streamer's there. I can see that. I still need some new glasses, by the way. I'm going to get some tomorrow, I think. So we'll close that off. Right, the download size is still only 370 megabytes. So it's cool. still quite a slim, slim thing, isn't it, really? So anyway, in my search bit, I'm going to put VirtualBox. So I'll type it in. As you can see, comes up. Now I want to put these exalt drivers in. So basically, if I want to run it in VirtualBox, it will come up with a proper full screen, not the bloody stupid screen. So I'll click that. And that's also installed. So that's hunky dory. So you can open it up there and it'll explain everything to you and how big it is. Even better. So yeah, that's why it's nice and easy to see how easy it is to use. It's really, really easy. And anybody who can get an account with SUSE Studio. You know, it's all right. You can just have a good play. So I'm going to put Abbey Word in anyway, look. Because we need Abbey Word, don't we? I don't want to put Open Office in, because it makes, makes another, like, 200 meg on top. So I don't want to really do that. So Abbey Word's just fine. And it's, I'm just showing you anyway uh, how it works, basically. So yeah, there's all this stuff. So I'll go to Configuration. We click on there. As you can see, you can set the languages or ask on first boot. So if you make this for people that you know, they could be anywhere in the world, and it'll ask them when they boot it all up. You also get a network setting, so I set it to discover networks automatically, which is okay for most people. Enable firewall, yes, we've done that as well. You get the basic username and password. You can change them if you so wish to, but as we're only doing it for a laugh, you know, see how it works, and if it works, okay, we'll leave it at that. So, personalize. We'll go there. You get some different screens here you can use, different colours. There's not too many. You can upload your own if you so wish to. So that's pretty good as well. Right, start level, graphical login. Yes, done. Number five, good for me. So we'll go to desktop. Automatically login? No, I don't want to do that. Now your appliance. What do you want to do it for? Right, I'm going to enable here the PAE extension so it recognises all my memory for a start. So if you've got loads of memory, it will see it all even better. That's even better for 64-bit stuff, by the way. Don't forget that. It doesn't really matter so much on 32-bit. So build, you get a choice of USB stick, live CD, Amazon stuff, and stuff. But I'm going to go with live CD. You can add all the others as well. And basically, all you do is build. It takes about 15 minutes to build. You can download it, put it on a CD, and off you go, or DVD, whatever. 
Is that really super duper duper duper? Oh, I think it is. Now I found it a lot easier to use than Reconstructor. <laughs> now they want you to pay for it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to boot up my virtual box. There you go, look. Now this is the old one I made a bit earlier, the Mark III, shall we say. So we're going to start that up in virtual box. When I click it properly, that is. There you go, it's booting up. Lovely. You get basic screen, that's alright, but you're only testing, aren't you? That's alright. And some people made some really good stuff using this actually, so it's not too bad really. And it's free. It's your first screen. It's not full screen as you can see. You just get that. That's a bit of a pain. I might have to change that next time I do my next one. Or the Mark IV. And there we are. We're into Sneaky Stooza. Isn't that good? Look. Super bleeding do it. Obviously there's not much there, because I didn't actually add too much, did I? Well, nothing at all really. So you get the Fox, Gene America put in, Istanbul's there, I've all added on this one anyway. So I'm just playing with it. Right. Yeah, super duper. So if you want to make your own distro, I have a play at doing it and add dependencies and stuff and bits and bobs and how big it's going to be. This is really, really good. Really, really good. You do have to register an account, by the way. I ain't got a problem with that. I've got nothing to hide. You? There we go. No big deal. Now, a lot of people don't like Suter, but if you just want a bit of fun, if you're a Windows user, Linux user or Mac user, you can still do this. Here's the website. Look, Firefox opens really super fast. Really good. I like it. Now, as for Sneaky Susan, it's not particularly brilliant, is it? No. Now, this is one of the big bad things I've had. The install software section. Now, I'll put my password in. Okay. I'll set that up, didn't I? Remember. And we're going to the install software section. Now, this takes a bleeding age. This is one of the big bugbears I have about it. And I haven't got many, really. So I had to cut that video bit about need two minutes. That was a bit of a bummer. But here you can add all your desktop stuff. All your stuff that you want to add, like Abbey Word and whatever games and office stuff and multimedia. So I'm going to type in Abbey Word. Look, if you want Abbey Word, all you do is highlight it and then tick the box as you would do in Synaptic or any other package manager, and off you go. It's all done, you know, and you add it and off you go. So you basically, you could make a really basic one and add it from here if you wanted to, and there would be extra package managers, etc. So on the whole, Sousa Studio, bleeding top bunch. I really like it. Enough said. Sneaky Linux going out.